a beautiful morning. Love being out in the wild. Very French breakfast. Thank you, Lily. Gold. Just for the record, how tall are you? <laughs> Can't remember, 155 or 165? I think 50. 165, maybe. All right, so I'm 188 or something. So about here. I'm about 188, so you take, what's the head? Th you're about 155, I reckon. Yeah, probably. But, so, you know, I mean, I'm average for my size, but... Oh, you're doing all right, but that's where you say the legs. Yeah, just need legs. So the Honda was the lowest bike you could find, wasn't it? Was yeah, that... I was going to go the WR250R, but it was a good inch taller. But as it turned out, I had to put a lowering link in this anyway to 40 mils, but not to any advantage because it was just to get more play with the Olin Springs, so... So you reckon just manoeuvres like this are tricky and you can't ride out yeah, of them? Yeah, no, no. Nah. So all I'm right. Just, I'm going to wheel it down. Let's see what you do when you're a short ass. Yeah, when you're a short ass, this is why it's really critical to have a bite. See how I use my ass on the back of the pannier? Yeah. But I just maneuver my Oh, look, she's running with it. Woo! -hoo! Oh, go, girl. Where I know I can ride. Yeah. Straight up. That's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Yeah, so from here I can just go bop, 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 bop. How, you're going to make that noise when you're riding out. Yeah, I always do. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, we've got to go. Really we've got to go up this little hill here. There's me. I'll probably just roll back and. Oh, I might, I might ride down. I don't know yet. Oh, here we go. Gun it. Bit of clutch. I see a little wheelie up the hill. Hey. And Mark's just getting ready. Chuck the glovies on. And uh, yeah, we saw another trail kind of on our way down to Hill End, the Bylong Loop. And we're so close to it, we kind of like, can't not do it. So, you know, we got all the time in the world. We will go do the Bylong Loop, check it out. See if we can find our tire tracks. Tracking's on, everything's plugged in. Plugged in our power, yep. So everything's charging, charging, charging.
these types of pines, they're beautiful. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, easy peasy Japanesey. How beautiful! How pretty! So this is not the road that was closed. Bugger! Maybe it was and the water receded overnight, I don't know. Pretty. Whoa, picturesque. Do that by long loop? Yes. Why, not? Why not? Have you got it on your map? Yeah. I, I didn't mark it, I marked by long but not the loop. Hey, I'll see it. Yep. Opportunity. Oh, it's a bike. Formula diesel, don't want that. And premium 95, that's me. Yay. Sport the little towns. Hi, how are you going? Beautiful day for a ride? Best. Running away from home. Um, from Perth, around Australia. So we pulled up at Bylong for something to eat and we met Adventure Riders. Oh no, that's Mark's bike. Adventure Riders. So whose is this one? That's mine, Murray. Murray? This is Murray's Super Adventure KDM 1290 because bigger is best. Can you pick it up when you drop it? That's the problem, they're heavy. <laughs> if you keep low and kneel, yeah. it's kind of yeah. better to manage. Everyone keeps telling me when you upgrade from the 250, you know you've got to get a 650 or an 800, but I think I'll stick to the bike that I can pick up. <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great bike, but that is its only down. Yeah. Yeah, so, and you guys came from Newcastle for a spin out here today, didn't you? Maitland and Newcastle. Maitland, and what was your name? David. David, and David, Moore's where's Bay. your steed? Mine's on an adventure bike. Now. Road bike? Yeah, ah, it doesn't yeah. matter, best bike's the bike you've got. <laughs> this is mine, it's a Oh, a Triumph? Triumph oh, this is what my friend Brenda's got that I met up in Karumba. Yeah, it's a girl's bike. Yeah, so no, like, like, no, she is, <laughs> she's a sick puppy. She does like him mile an hour on her. Oh, I know these things go. And she's hotted hers up. She used to be a bike mechanic too. No, did she? Yeah, yeah, she's, yeah, hers is a weapon. <laughs> Scary weapon. Yeah. Yeah, no, she rides it like bloody Valentino Rossi. Yeah, right. okay. And number three? Number three, yep. Name? David. David. Yep. And David is on a BMW, what size? F700. Oh, you know what? I actually haven't seen one of these before. I've seen the 650s and the 800s and the 1200s. Yeah, well, it's an 800 with the D-tuned 
Ah. The why does it look so clean and so shiny? Is she new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's brand new. Uh, used to have the old 1150, but Did you, big. Do you want me to break it in? I'll just kick the stand out. <laughs> Christen it? <laughs> oh, it's so lovely meeting you guys. I love it. I love meeting adventure riders on this journey. That's part of the adventure. Just amazing people. God bless you. Keep safe. And Thank you, darling. It's good to see you got all the gear. Yeah, safety first. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've got a long adventure to do. Yeah. Alright. See ya! We'll work out if you're Bill Murray or Fred, depending on how you take off. <laughs> That's my quote. I'm humble and proud of it. That's it. You've got to be humble. Humble and authentic. See ya! And that's it. That makes three. What a nice bunch of blokes. And Bylong's a place for adventure riders. <laughs> Paul with a BMW F650 and a trike. Yeah, got a wing trike. <laughs> Ready to load up and he come up and say hello. How are you, Dal? I'm good. Good. I met a famous person. Ah, oh, no, I'm not famous. You at all. are. No, 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 no. Just an ordinary what... girl doing extraordinary things. Yeah, no, I've had. An, apart from when I broke my hand last September, I've just had. Um, just over the last week, hey Mark, just this yeah, ache, recurring ache in my hand from that. But I think I nearly went ass up out of the No and Dock Hotel on the bloody tiles. Not out in the bush doing gnarly trails. Yeah. Yeah, and put my hand out to break my fall and I think I just gave it a good whack and oh, yeah, yeah, apart from that. But I think, you know, when you're out riding, I think- You forget you, it all when you're out riding. If you, you, you come down, but I think, oh, you know, you're gonna be all right. But what if you don't? You have the best time of your life. <laughs> You know, oh, you no. come back and you smile from me there and you so go, we, fuck yeah, I'm where, where you So where did you actually start from? Perth. Okay. Then. Six months ago. Well, that's what I say, yeah. four months, I mean, yeah. I, I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. That's what I say, I put uh, a thing here, so no, you're, you're You know, anyone can do it, you've just got to take uh, the fear out of legend, it, that's mate. it. Well, that, you just made my day. You just need a tough, <laughs> you need a really tough butt, that's all yeah. it is, because oh. you're on that seat yeah. all day long. Oh, have you got have you got any recommended butt exercises Roz that you can get ready for the it's, it's good to do the just pretend just like you're doing a dry route that's that's a good one well no seriously that lower part of your back yeah, yeah. Well, that's what happened. I saw marks on his and I got bloody forward foot peg envy, so I had to get a set made up myself. Oh, okay, yeah. Big difference. Yeah, well well yeah, no, you just um, my um, oh, engineer yeah. guy made yeah. the bracket, bolted into the existing yeah. bolt holes where the B&B goes. Yep. But these were just off um, eBay, 35 bucks, and yeah. they just, he drilled the holes and yeah, they just yeah, bolted straight in. Uh, yeah, yeah, fold up um, yeah. pegs of yeah. own. Yeah, and so what? when I'm riding, I'm just going yeah. to do this. And it's better for tapping your toe when you've got good music on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, good. Yeah. Well, maybe it's meant I was supposed to stop here today. Yeah, I thought I'd stop here in the morning. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I can't stop you to coffee. Yeah. And I like, call Mark over there, and that, yeah, yeah. come over there, and I go, oh, yeah. Oh, you're kidding, yeah. eh? Oh, the famous Ross. Oh, well, don't keep telling me you're not. No, you are. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> these videos were never meant for anything else except my personal memories. Yeah. When I'm old and decrepit, one day I can watch my journey and go, I yep. can't believe I did that. Carry on. Cool. I feel like Alice in Wonderland. I feel like a Bambi should just, you know, jump out on the trail through the wild flowers going down to the beautiful. That's it. Nothing. Stunning. We are blessed today, truly. <laughs> Nature, our church. I know. Let's go.
Let's find a magical spot. See if we can extend it and find find a magical spot. Yeah, whatever. Let's just keep riding. <laughs> All right, back into the whimsical wonderland of these beautiful Bylong Hills. This place, like, look at these mountains with the majestic rocks. You see faces in them. This is just magical, magical little valley. And what you don't see on the camera, the experience that you don't get to feel is the cool breeze on my face and the warmth of the sun on my skin and the smells, the beautiful scents of the blossoms of the trees and the fresh grass and oh my god, it's just heaven. Heaven! Beautiful, you don't experience this in a four-wheel drive with your aircon on. Joy. No green moss. <laughs> I just, you know, I had tears in my eyes riding through there. Like tears in my eyes. It was just so beautiful and the sun shining and we're fucking on the best adventure ever and I'm just happy, eh? <laughs> just happy. Bye, bye, Long Valley. Thank you for the amazing memories. All right, so from here down to Crossroads and everything's going right, so we go right. <laughs> then down to Budgie Budgie, down to Mudgie. And then from there we start heading down the dirt towards Hill End. Carry on. Budgie Budgie Mudgie Mudgie, here we come. <laughs> hey? Yeah, do some smuggling and budgie budgie. <laughs> and take it down to budgie and smuggle the budgie. <laughs> to do a camp here, doll. Okay, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm slow and looking left and looking right. I would love to do a camp. Look, there's another massive rock structure in there. It is magical. It is magical. Keep looking. You go ahead because you're good at when you see one. Look at the big rocks in there, like there's just massive, huge rocks in there. Oh, this is beautiful. How do you, look at this. There's giant rocks in there. Wow, it's like a, a cross between the Bungle Bungles and the Southern Lost City. Oh, this is nuts. This is bloody beautiful. Oh, I want to go for a walk in this incredible forest. Wow. 
smudgy. Mark's already got his coldy. <laughs> he like sprinted through the front door. And uh, Matt pulled up to say hello. There you go, hello. Matt. So Matt's got a Hussey 701. So you just ride locally? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Not as, I'm a bit envious of your journey. Uh, yeah, mainly locally, unfortunately. Um, I'm just lucky. Yeah. So, but you were in the Bylong area, hey? Yeah, stunning. Freaking love that ride through there today. That was gold. Yeah. Absolute gold. Oh well, you have to go on a bigger adventure That's if right. you can drag yourself out of That's your beautiful right. valley. Right. Lucky I've got to work this week, otherwise I'll come with you. Ah. <laughs> yeah, work don't. That's a dirty four-letter word That's for right. me now. That's right. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you, buddy. Okay. All right. Have a great That's adventure. Cheers, mates. Okay. Thanks yeah. for stopping saying hello. Okay. Right. You have a rest, darling girl. I'm going for a coldy. <laughs> See ya. Pine donut in the belly, and we're off. Hill End Road, here we come. So it's quarter past five. We're gonna have a bit of sun in our eyes for a little bit. Just until we get out of town and head south. Historic Hill End. Look, look, yeah, no, it looks really super interesting, Dar, it looks gorgeous. I'd rather do this than another um, caravan park. What a magical little spot. But there's a few rocks. There's a few rocks to set that tent. I mean, I'd be fine with my hammock. He could set up the tent and then just yeah. Oh bless me. Sleep on the side where there's no rocks and I could just do my hammock. That'd work. That'd work. Just gonna go check out one more. Got any here? A dip there. Oh, this is freaking gorgeous. What a magical little creek. Yeah, 6.20. It's light. It's light. park it here so I can get it back up easier. That's a good idea. That is a good idea, Rosie. This is short legs. Oh, that's a good thigh burner. That's a good thigh burner. Oh. That's it. Out of sight, out of mine. Please, Spideys, don't make my bike your new home. Great. Home sweet home. Well spotted, Mark. Beautiful little trail into the forest, on the creek, before we made it to Hill End. And how fortuitous that it is just absolutely delightful.
Wiggett's Creek and Dirt Hole Creek. This is where they meet. get it now that we're nature lovers and there's some forests that I've ridden through that are just so loud with the cicadas and Mark being the smart little Alec that he is knows a lot and look what he found on his morning walk so cicada cicada tomato tomato it's a, <laughs> potato, it's, cicada. it's a cicada cicada I call them cicadas and this little dude would have had 17 years underground preparing for his three weeks in the limelight, looking for a chick or looking for a bloke, whatever. And so he's had his three weeks and now he's turned into a um, bit of compost for the forest. Phenomenal. Look at these, look at these wings, aren't they just stunning? The, the intricacy of that lace work is just yeah. unreal. It's amazing how they make so much noise. But imagine being in the womb for 17 years and then having a three-week life. It seems a bit unfair, doesn't it?